History of fast food. When, where, why? Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Fact for You. As promised, today, we're going to be talking about the history of fast food. Fast food is something that we all take for granted, but it actually has a pretty interesting history. So, let's get started. We know that food stalls, offering simple and quick meals have been around for hundreds of years, if not thousands. Fast food in its modern concept is just around a hundred years old. And it started in the USA. Guess what, it was a burger place. No, it wasn't McDonald's. But, how do you define fast food? Fast food is a type of food that is typically prepared and served quickly in a casual setting. It is often characterized by low prices, convenience, and a limited menu. Fast food is again typically made with processed ingredients and is high in fat, sugar, and calories. Did you know two out of every three Americans are overweight or obese? Now, back to history. The first fast food eatery. It all started in the small city of Wathita in Kansas, two men in their 40s, Billy Ingram and Walter Anderson. Billy had sold hot dogs from a stall and Walter had sold burgers from a street car. These two men knew the concept of quick and cheap food for people on the go. They met in 1921 and teamed up. Billy had $700 and Walter had a small restaurant called The White Castle. Anderson came up with the idea of an open kitchen, developed an assembly line food preparation system, built a reputation for cleanliness, and introduced paper hats and napkins. They started selling five-cent, small, square hamburgers. Billy invented the concept of restaurant carryout or today's takeaway. He made paper bags for the burgers and used the tagline, selling them by the sack. Very smart. Billy's burgers were easy to eat, so they were dubbed sliders, probably because of the way the patties were put into the bun. Even today a slider refers to a small burger with a soft bun. The White Castle was a unicorn and success was immediate. Billy Ingram bought Walter Anderson's shares of White Castle in 1933 and the chain has remained a family business ever since. Today White Castle has more than 300 branches across the United States. Well, they are happy with their American market and their hamburgers continue to be square, not round. Wanna watch one of their commercials from 40 years ago? Here it is. But why did fast food become so popular? A few reasons. First, the easy answer is that it is convenient. You can get a quick and affordable meal without having to cook at home. And quality is pretty much consistent, isn't it? Also, fast food is tasty. We love the burgers, fries, and other food that is served at fast food restaurants. Our body loves fat, salt and carb that turns into sugar. And fast food has a lot of them. And finally, or one might say, most importantly, fast food is advertised heavily. Companies like McDonald's and Burger King spend a lot of money on advertising, which helps make their restaurants even more popular. McDonald's spends more than $900 million on advertising every year. For a business generating $28 billion in revenues, it is imaginable. There are 39,000 McDonald's branches throughout the world. Nearly 14,000 of them are in the United States, that is almost one out of every three branches. Huge number, isn't it? Well, interesting to know there are over 200,000 fast food branches in the United States. So, there you have it. That's how and where fast food started. But please bear something in mind. Quite often, low prices in the fast food industry mean minimum wages and minimum benefits in harsh working conditions for the workers. So, next time you go to a fast food restaurant, try to be nicer to people serving you. Thanks and thanks for watching. And please subscribe and help us with your comments and suggestions to make more, better videos.